Welcome to Wines That Make Me Thirsty. And this is a wine that is so coveted by the Sydney folk that it is all sold on Premier by the shipper. So it never sees a retailer's shelf. Um, look at the colour, that beautiful deep golden colour. It's got honey. It's also got some buttery notes about it as well in the most beautiful positive way. Warm butter rather than heated butter. There's um, a little bit of grilled grilled walnut, grilled almond. It's got honey. It's also got some buttery notes about it as well in the most beautiful positive way. Warm butter rather than heated butter. There's um, a little bit of grilled grilled walnut, grilled almond. Oh, that is so fine. It has just got delicacy, evenness of flavour, length. Middle palate flavours, um, I want to say bread and butter pudding, but that, that sells it very short. But it's got that, that wonderful combination of bready characters, a slight butteriness. Um, it's probably more like preserved flowers and, um, a little, and heading towards the Moroccan lemon like spectrum of flavors mouthfeel is delicious in this wine rather than the, that again that grippy acidity that passes for champagne in, in 50 dollar wines this has a plushness to the mouthfeel it has flavor and then it has a, a, a nice fine and detailed acidity to finish what is the quality of this wine the quality of this wine is in the perfection between the color the aroma the flavor the texture and the finish. It is seamlessly united. It flows just beautifully through in, in all dimensions. How drinkable is it? It's virtually unputdownable. If it was a novel, it would be. This is Wines Make Me Thirsty. Cheers.